How to take an automated blood pressure measurement. There are two ways to record the measurements you take, so it's important to have one of these methods to hand before taking any readings the MMM app or by using the document we provide. It's important that the patient doesn't smoke, drink alcohol, or a caffeinated drink within 15 minutes prior of a blood pressure measurement. Blood pressure should preferably be measured by an automated electronic device. Firstly, the patient's posture is important. Sit them with their back supported and their elbow at about the level of their heart with the arm supported. Legs should not be dangling and should be uncrossed. The patient should now rest quietly in this position for five minutes prior to the first blood pressure measurement being taken. If using an automated blood pressure measurement machine, the length of the bladder on the device should be 80% of the circumference of the upper arm. Larger, more muscular people with thick arms need a larger bladder. So at this point, you'll need to measure the arm and use the appropriate cuff size. Preferably, measurements will be taken from the left arm only, but the right arm is also acceptable. Leaving the cuff's lower edge about an inch above the bend of the elbow, place the cuff over their bare arm, close the cuff around the arm, and then stick the Velcro together at the ends of the cuff. For best results, don't talk during the measurement. To get started, simply turn on the blood pressure monitor by pressing the on-off button and then press the start button on the device to run the test. The cuff will begin to inflate and then slowly deflate at this point whilst taking the measurements automatically. The monitor will then display the readings for the systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure and also give you a heart rate reading. Record the SBP and the DBP numbers immediately. Don't depend on memory. And note the arm, right or left, used for taking the measurement is noted. Take another two measurements in the same way, leaving a one minute interval in between each reading and recording the measurements with the same arm. After taking three readings in total, remove the cuff and the blood pressure test is complete. High blood pressure or hypertension is when the systolic number is 140 or more most of the time or the diastolic number is 90 or more most of the time. If your patient shows consistently abnormal readings, it is important to let them know of further treatment and advice that is available to them.